morning. It's Monday morning here for us, the start of a new week. I'm just making some grilled cheese um, for lunches for the kids today. I accidentally let these cook a little too long on that side. Um, I'm going to wrap these up in foil and um, keep packing up their lunches, and I'll see you guys back in a few minutes. The kids had a busy weekend this weekend. Yesterday, Audrey had a birthday party. We went to church. Um, the kids had friends over, and then Ben had his piano recital. <laughs> There's Jacob. Audrey, I just had to go and wake Audrey up. She woke up early, and um, and then she fell back asleep in my bed. Emily woke up early, and then she fell asleep, but she's in her crib now. But it's almost 8 o'clock. I let Audrey sleep as long as I can let her sleep. But it's going to be a beautiful day here today. Look at that blue sky. We haven't seen that in a long time, it seems. All right, I have the lunches all ready to go. We are running. I'm really late here, but I'm going to show you guys these lunches anyway. Um, this is Audrey's lunch. She has both of her bottles of water. They always take two, one for their lunch and one to have in their classroom. She has her grilled cheese. I hope um, that'll be okay in there. She has some grapes. The kids are taking some of these Ritz sandwich cookies. And Audrey has an applesauce. Um, hopefully that'll be enough lunch for her. Um, this is Ben's lunch. He has both of his water bottles. He has him and Audrey just wanted half of the grilled cheese. Ben has grapes for his fruit. He has the same Ritz crackers and an applesauce. Everybody has a spoon. And then this is Jacob's. He has his water. I left it open um, to remind myself to put ice in it because he always likes to take ice. He has grapes. Um, he wanted to take a pear. He picked the Ritz, or I was sending him with the Ritz cheese and crackers. Nobody picked anything today because they were um, outside playing. Um, applesauce. Jacob has a full grilled cheese, and he also has a caramel um, chocolate chip rice cake. Is that going to be enough lunch for you, Ben? Okay. All right. So anyway, I'm going to get um, these guys off to school, but we'll see you later on. Look at Emily. Do you get a backpack on? Whose backpack do you have on Em? Ice, yeah. All right, so here we are. It's 8.55. The kids are gone to bed, and they didn't empty their lunches today. I'm trying to remember. I don't think... I was trying to remember what they were doing after school, but I guess they were just busy um, playing outside today. Um, it was a nice day here. So anyway, I'm going to empty these so that they are emptied for the morning. So we'll see how everybody did. It's like... Okay, Jacob has a container in there. He ate his rice cake. He ate his um, grilled cheese and um, his grapes. He brought home his applesauce. I'll get his spoon in a second. This is Ben's. Ben ate everything in there. Oh dear, Ben's. Okay, Ben has a big puddle of water. His Ben ate his grapes. Look at the water in there. These water bottles, they're good, but if the button gets pushed at all, like I always have to make sure that I put them up like that, because if the button gets pushed, that's what happens. Actually, Audrey's leaked today too. So I'm really glad that I emptied these now. What's this? This has Emily written all over. She must have been into, she was in my wallet today, and I would say that she grabbed that receipt and uh, put it in here. Audrey ate her grapes, she ate her grilled cheese, and um, she ate all her snacks. So anyway, me and Jacob went and picked up some groceries tonight, so he have everything replenished for lunches tomorrow. I'm casting a shadow here. Um, anyway, I'm going to um, I'll give these lunch bags a wipe out, and we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. Welcome to Tuesday's lunch. Um, for lunches today, the kids are taking some sandwiches. Me and Jacob went and got some groceries last night. I think I told you that last night when I emptied um, the kids' lunches. Good morning, Audrey. Everybody's getting all ready for school here. Audrey, when you're done, you can brush your teeth if you didn't already, and I'll do your hair. Um, this is Ben's lunch, so he has water um, to have throughout the day, water to have with his lunch. They are taking sandwiches today. This is oven cooked um, chicken breast and I can open lettuce on there. You can open that, okay. And I bought some. Um, I think it was called um, garlic and herb um, cheese slices to put on their sandwich. I thought that might taste good. Um, ben has some grapes, a couple of cucumbers. We picked up some yaps on sale last night for 69 cents. Okay, Audrey, can you go brush your teeth, please? Um, ben picked dungaroos for a treat and gushers. Um, Jacob is going with um, his teacher today, or with their gym teacher. 
um, over to a track and field competition. So he has a lot of extra snacks today because he's going to be gone there for the, um, the whole day. So he has his sandwich. He has a nice looking sandwich with cheese and um, meat and lettuce and everything on it. But for my field trip, I like to be going to two places. Yes, you're going on a field trip too. Can you please go and brush your teeth? Mm -hmm. Jacob has um, cucumbers in there. He has water to drink and um, he's got some ice in there to keep it cold. He's going to take a couple of water, uh, bottles of water. Um, he picked a pink lemonade um, yogurt drink. He has some grapes. He has some apples. He has a cheese string, and he picked some gushers and um, some dunkaroos for a couple of treats. So I think that should be enough snacks to um, to last him the day. And then Audrey's lunch. Audrey has the sandwich. She was pretty excited about that. She said, "Is there salad in it?" So her and Ben just um, split a sandwich. Um, olives. I discovered that Ben likes a sandwich if um, I put mustard on it. Um, cucumbers. Apples for her fruit. She picked a um, raspberry yogurt drink and she also picked the Dunkaroos and then she has her water. So we'll see you guys after school. All right, we're just getting around to emptying the lunch bags. I had to take Daisy to the vet today, so we're just back from that. This is a surprise. A surprise in there. Your cucumbers, I said that her, what happened? Your The juice from your olives went into your cucumbers? Okay. Oh, what's this? A <laughs> couple of apples. Okay, you can eat those. Abs. Why did you say abs? I didn't. I said apples, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, that can go in the freezer. All right. Oh, did I? Oh. Apples, I'm going to say. All right, Ben, do you want to empty yours for us? Yeah. Are you okay, family? Emptied your lunch? Yeah. How did Ben do, Emily? Let's see. Emily's got a dirty face from having ketchup with your taters. <laughs> What's in there? <gasps> Did you pick the lettuce off your sandwich, Ben? Oh, no, I forgot about my cucumbers. Oh, you can have them now. There you go. You want your lettuce? I don't, not really. No, I didn't think so. Okay. Did Ben drink his yogurt drink? He did. Awesome job, Ben. All right, that can go in the freezer. Do you want to put that in the freezer, Emily? Yeah. All right. Hi, and you. maybe we'll empty Jacob's because Jacob has a, a bit of a headache, so... Maybe one of maybe one of you guys can empty Jacobs. All right, Ben, how did Jacob do? That's weird. My, my favorite fruit. Mm-hmm. No, I don't think Jacob was feeling all that good today. He came home and said he had a headache and um, he's cold and he said he didn't eat all his lunch. Did he drink his yogurt drink? Uh, so much. Okay. Well, that can go in the fridge. He can okay. finish it later. He ate his apples. Oh, Jacob brought home a lot. Half of a sandwich and his cucumbers. Okay, we're gonna get that before you um, get at it. All right, so Jacob brought home Hi. quite a bit of his food. Do you want a cucumber? Look, it's stuck. Yeah. But um, yeah, Jacob wasn't feeling good today, so we'll see how he feels um, after a bit. Anyway, we will see you guys uh, tomorrow morning. Good morning and welcome to Wednesday's lunch. Um, I only have two lunches to share with you this morning. Um, Jacob isn't going to school today. He went to the track and field competition yesterday and he came home and he had a headache and um, he felt okay to go to ball but I think he had a bit of a fever because he was saying how cold he was but he felt said that he felt okay to go to baseball but anyway he's um, not feeling very good today so he's gonna stay home today. Um, so I only have Ben and Audrey's lunches to share with you. Um, if you're new here my name is Lindsay. I don't know if I told you that already and I'm a mom of four. Three out of four of our kids are in school. Um, so Jacob is our oldest. This is Ben's lunch. Ben is eight and he's in grade two. He has both of his water bottles. Um, today, I hope the kids don't mind that they're taking the um, same sandwich as yesterday. They're taking a sandwich on a croissant today. Is that okay, Audrey? Uh, yes, it is. I'm gonna like it no matter what it's on. It just the same as yesterday, just on a croissant. So this is Ben's. His is on a croissant, so hopefully they'll like that. Um, ben picked um, grapes for his fruit. They're taking a cheese string. Ben has an applesauce for another healthy snack. And he picked Dunkaroos. And then he has a spoon, and that should be enough for Ben. 
And then this is Audrey's lunch. Audrey has both of her water. They both, they, everybody just always um, drinks water here. Um, she has the same croissant sandwich. I just cut hers in half so it would fit. She has some grapes in her container and she has the applesauce. She picked a fruit by the foot um, for a treat and she has a cheese string and a spoon for her applesauce. So that is what they're taking on Wednesday and I'll see you guys after school. The kids are um, home from school and I just asked them who is ready to come out and empty their lunch. They've been home for probably a half an hour now. And Emily said, oh, and she came running out and she got Ben's lunch bag. Oh dear. Ben ate all the grapes. Okay. And I don't think he brought home his Dunkaroos, Emily, but he didn't eat very much of his sandwich. This container is a, I don't know, I thought I would need two hands. Oh dear, we'll have to ask Ben why he didn't eat his sandwich. And I don't know whose container that is. I don't know if that's Audrey's or not. All right, Emily just said Audrey's lunch. She's going to empty out Audrey's lunch apparently too. Ben said that he didn't really like his sandwich, so. I would eat it. Would you? Okay. Tomorrow. Tomorrow? If it's going to be good, or I'll have supper today. Oh, okay. That was Audrey's container. So, Audrey, you ate everything then, eh? Because your container was on the counter. All right. So, Audrey ate all of her lunch. Awesome job, Audrey. I didn't eat my sandwich, but I didn't eat it. Oh, okay. That's why your container is there. Okay, Audrey didn't finish her sandwich either, but she had it as her after-school snack. So anyway, that is lunch for Wednesday, and we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Bye. So Audrey and Emily are going to finish um, Ben's sandwich. So I'm glad that it's not getting thrown out. I really hate to throw food in the garbage. You know, the cost of groceries um, is so high right now, and to throw out, you know, that's croissants and lunch meat and cheese. So anyway, I'm glad that you guys are eating them and enjoying them. But can you eat them out here, though? All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Do you want to say bye? Bye. 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 Good morning, and welcome back um, to Thursday's lunch. I only have two lunches to share with you again today. Jacob is still not feeling good. So he's going to stay um, home again today. So he was been feeling feverish and he had a headache and this morning he was throwing up. And so anyway, hopefully he feels better for tomorrow's classes going on a field trip tomorrow. So I hope he is feeling better um, for then. Um, so anyway, it's just Audrey and Ben going to school today. So this is Ben's lunch. He has his water and his water to have with his lunch. Today the kids are just taking everything bagels with some cream cheese on them. Ben has some cucumbers and some cheese in his container. Ben picked Dunkaroos again for his snack. And he also picked a banana for his fruit. He said that was enough lunch for him. Audrey has um, both of her water bottles. She has the other half of the bagel with the cream cheese. She has cheese and she has some cucumbers. Audrey wanted apples. If I get the container open. Apples for her fruit, so she has some apples cut up in there. She is taking a vanilla yogurt, and she just went in and picked some of these Ritz um, cheese crackers, and she has a spoon for her yogurt. So that is what these guys are taking for Thursday. Hopefully I'll have three lunches to share with you tomorrow, but I'll see you after school. Everybody's home from school. Well, Audrey and Ben are home from school. Jacob's feeling a little bit better, I think. How'd you make it with your lunch, Audrey? Good. I know you ate it all because when she came home, she finished her bagel and your apples, didn't you? So you did end up eating everything. Okay, you're, you can put your container in the um, in the sink in your cracker wrapper. Oh, in the garbage. How did you make it with your lunch, Ben? Oh, do you want to show everybody? You said you were going to eat your banana today, but do you want to show everybody your medal? Ben got a nice medal. For, do you want to tell them what you got it for? Uh, for what? It's for uh, uh, my apple and uh, your Chromebook. It's knowledge of its math. For doing all kinds of math? Yeah, you get 250 stars. Then you have to wait like a month to get a medal. Oh, very nice, Ben. That's very exciting. He was pretty happy when he came home. But that Jacob, can you move that meter in a little bit? How come you brought your banana home? I'll eat it. Okay. And I'll eat my bagel.
and you brought cucumbers that you brought home, all your healthy stuff. Okay, Ben, you can have some of that. At least finish your bag on your cucumbers. Emily. What are you, whose book bag are you wearing? You wearing Andrew's backpack? <laughs> all right, we'll see you guys back here tomorrow for Friday. Good morning. It's Friday. I only have two kids going to school again today. Jacob is disappointed. He has a field trip today and he got up and he got dressed and he thought that he was going to be able to go, but he's just really not feeling up to it. So he's disappointed. I'm a little disappointed for him, but um, the kids are taking um, pizzas. This is just a hamburger bun. Um, ben and I will just take half. So I was just getting ready to put this in the oven. So I thought I would show you guys what they're taking. So I got the kids' pizza burgers all packed up. I wrapped them in um, wax paper and foil just so that the cheese doesn't stick to the tin foil. And I put them in a container so that they don't get um, squished in their backpacks. Um, this is Ben's, by the way. He has both of his water bottles for his fruit. He picked a clementine and some grapes. I think Ben would eat grapes every day. He loves grapes. He loves grapes as much as Audrey loves apples. Um, they're both taking a, a uh, yogurt drink. Ben's is raspberry because of the... Um, the date on them is June 13th and they're still good but we'll get those drank up um, Ben is taking some of these Ritz um, sandwich crackers and then Audrey's lunch she has both of her water bottles I did the same thing with her pizza burger I wrapped it up they each just have a half and then um, it won't get all squished you know the way kids throw their backpack their lunch their backpacks around and our kids carry their lunches in their backpacks i know when they get to the playground they just kind of take those backpacks off and just kind of toss them to the side i always take your poor lunch i often wonder what kind of shape it's in uh, when they go to eat it um anyway she has a pink lemonade yogurt drink you know audrey for those of you who aren't new here she loves her apples so she has an apple in there cut up i soaked that in lemon juice and water and um, she is taking one of these go pure bars and I feel so bad that Jacob's missing his field trip. He really wanted to go to school, but I thought you don't want to go on your field trip and get over there and feel miserable. And so he decided that he better stay home. He's got a stuffy nose. And he said his stomach isn't the best and he hasn't really eaten a lot in the last couple days. So um, it's a bit of a bummer. But anyway, what can you do, I guess? Um, I always send the kids, if you're new here, I send the kids with just a little um, extra special uh, recess treat on Fridays. So this is Audrey's and this is Ben's. And if Jacob wants to have his later, um, he can or he said maybe he could take it on Monday. So anyway, I hope he's feeling better soon. I can't believe, I think next week is the last full week of school for the kids. Oh, it's so hard to believe. Anyway, we will see you guys back here after school. It's another cloudy day out there. We've had a lot of cloudy days. Anyway, we'll see you guys later on. Well, I was so caught up in Jacob missing his field trip today. I forgot that Ben's class is going on a really fun field trip, aren't you? Yes. Ben is going to a wildlife park and he's going to see all kinds of animals today so i hope the rain holds off for you ben you got your comfortable shoes and everything on are you excited ben yeah you're gonna have a great yeah. time i completely forgot that they were having field trips on both days so you i just were, wanted to what ben you weren't gonna volunteer but the, um yeah yeah i was gonna volunteer but they didn't need any volunteers but then ben wanted me to go anyway so I was thinking about going but Jacob is home today so anyway that's okay I told him that I'd go on a field trip I'll go on one with you next year and I can't go on Audrey's either no because I won't have anybody to watch you well that's okay there'll be other field trips all right so we're um, just heading to school but I just wanted to share that with you guys that um, Ben was going on a very fun field trip today so I'm so excited for you Ben I can't wait to hear about it the kids are home from school. Did you have a good day at school, Audrey? Okay. Yes. How did you do with your lunch? Oh, Audrey, you're eating an apple and you have apples left over in your container. Um, and I don't like my pizza. <coughs> Excuse me. Sure. Did you eat any of your pizza? I did. You let Audrey help. Emily just woke up from a nap. She didn't even get dressed yet today. Let Audrey open it. Did you eat? Oh, okay. You only brought quite a bit of that home. Did you not like it or you just weren't in the mood for pizza? Yes, with the name. Oh. Pizza. Pizza. I mean, you can have it. <laughs> <laughs> did I, Emily, did Audrey bring home some for pizza? Yeah. Yeah, tell Audrey it's a lot of food you brought home. 
All right, Audrey says she's gonna finish her apples and she's gonna have that in the freezer. All right, we'll see how Ben did with his lunch. All right, and Emily wants to empty Ben's. Okay, Ben ate his yogurt drink. Ben, you had a fun time on your field trip, eh? Ben was telling me about all the animals that he saw. We saw goats. Um, we saw an owl. Did you? Um, so, don't, don't. Can you help Emily unzip that bag? Did you? Oh. Yes. We saw well, um, one baby pig. Oh, did you? A piglet? Okay, look. See how Ben did with his lunch. He Ben, he didn't get a chance to finish his treat, he said. Okay, how did, did you eat your pizza, Ben? Yeah. Okay, but you ate your yeah. grapes and your orange. Okay, let's do a quick before she gets your bar. No, Emily, that's Ben's. Did you eat your pizza? Good job, Ben. Okay. Or if you ask Ben, I said he might give you a little piece. You have to ask Ben first, though. No, 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 no. No. You have to ask Ben. All right, awesome job, Ben. Ben will break you off a little piece. That's nice, Ben. Jacob is feeling a little bit better, but he's still not feeling 100%. I was just telling Emily that she has a real little feast when the kids come home from school because she ate Audrey's leftover um, pizza, which is good. It didn't get wasted, and now she's having a piece of chocolate bar. Well, that is it for us for this week's school lunches. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing what the kids took in their lunches this week. Um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. The kids only have one more full week of school and then I think the following week is a short week. It's crazy, I found the whole month of June um, really just, just flew by so fast. Soon enough, the kids will be on summer vacation and um, I'll be starting a whole new school year. But anyway, um, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please consider um, hitting the subscribe button and I will see you guys next time.